doggy man, what y'all say, what y'all say. It's a beautiful morning down here in Florida. Man, let me tell you, oh, here about to get out here and do what I do because I got some cigars came in yesterday. I went on this website yesterday and I called Cigar Page. I ain't promoting advertising nothing, but I, my buddy told me about it. So I ordered me some cigars about a week ago, and they just came yesterday. Now, I don't like that free shipping thing. Now, I know y'all like free shipping. I don't like free shipping, you know, because free shipping, you know, they send stuff out when they want to send stuff out. And when I'm dealing with my cigars, I don't want my cigars in the mail for no five days sitting on some dock at the UPS post office somewhere like that. But I went online, but I got them cigars. They almost let them sit in my humidor for probably about two months before I smoke one of them. You know, I want them to get a little season real good. Maybe a couple more months too, I'm gonna let them sit for a while in there. You know, let them get a good good season a little bit. But yeah, but I was sitting up here before I get out of here. Got gonna be playing poker later on today. But I was sitting there out watching uh, the um my my YouTube granddaughter. I call her my YouTube granddaughter, that little Candace Owens, boy. That's an old head YouTube granddaughter. Look at her with her little pretty, she got her pretty black hair. Boy, that girl, boy, she got her little pretty black hair with the hot comb straightened in it. She ain't got none of that dog on Cambodian lace front weave stuff in her head. She ain't got none of them little people. She got real hair in her head. She look like that black girl. See, you take time, take care of your hair, what your hair look like. Boy, that dog on Candace on. Boy, I love that little girl. That, that's old hair, you too, granddaughter. She fears too. She's she like a little honey badger. And I'm still mad at David Chappelle, show sure live. I made David Chappelle for that corporate comment he made about Candace, her, counting about her coochie, you know, smelling bad. Yeah, I'm still mad. Why well, I won't watch another, they ain't watch another one of David Chappelle's corny stand up comedy shows until he apologized for Candace Owen. For saying that bad remark about her. You don't talk about old here, YouTube granddaughter. <laughs> David Chappelle. Boom, dot people with them old corny jokes he be saying. I don't know what the hell he be talking about. People love David. Oh, like, they, 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 he ain't even funny. He white people funny. <laughs> nigga don't listen to no devil, David Chappelle. <laughs> old people listen to nigga listen to David Chappelle. <laughs> it's conservative niggas. <laughs> niggas. Niggas that went to Harvard. <laughs> you got, I don't understand shit he be saying. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Ooh, I can't cuss. God dog it. <laughs> David Chappelle. I'm mad. David Chappelle. I ain't watching. Uh, I'm boycotting David Chappelle until he apologized to old head YouTube granddaughter Candace. Oh, look at with her hot cold straight hair. Oh boy, oh boy. Hey, hey black gal, y'all gotta go out every other day and go and go to the Koreans and buy y'all some hair. <laughs> like I know my grandma. My grandmother used to get, get all look, all my little cousins and my sisters, get them in the kitchen. If she put them in chairs in front of the door, and the kid like a galley, like a galley kitchen, you know, and she put that hot comb on the stove, put that chair in front of them, in front of her, she be sitting in the chair in back, and she be hot combing their head, putting that hot comb on that fire, and, <laughs> and, and straight into that kid's own hair, that hot comb hair. They talk about flat air. They put flat air was a hot comb, man. They put that hot comb in their head. The white people enjoying the dog old flat air, pancake flat air. Uh oh, back in the day, that my grandma and them, she used to, she used to put that hair food in there, the hair food grease, <laughs> it's like old hair, like my hair, I ain't like, oh, I may be telling myself here, like my hair, but I, I, and, and I'm going to tell you something, when you grow up, when you grow up, you remember things when you was a little fella, or a little gal, whatever, and you start emulating them things, I'm just like me, like old hair, right? I don't let no woman put her hands in my hair. I take care of my own hair. That's why my hair is so long. I brace my own hair. Because when I was a little fella back down in Louisiana, I used to see my grandmama. You're like, Candace always had that. I used to see my grandmama come on the front gate. And his, her hair was real gray, right? And like like mine getting real gray now too, boy. Real gray like my grandma, right? But she put it like this. I don't know what that hair food grease was she put in there. But it turned the hair blue when she got done with it. And she used to sit there and braid her hair on the front gear. I used to sit there and watch my grandma. And I, when my hair started growing, I used to go to these shops, get these there, put their hair in my head for like $150 a week almost. I was, uh, uh I ain't put them. I take care of my own hair. Why my hair so long now? Like last night over here, sit there, took my hair down, 
braided it up, then <laughs> braided it up. <laughs> sure did. After that, I take care of my own hair. You don't put no hair in my hair. I ain't got to go to no doggone shop. And if you let your hair get like tan, there's always something you can black girls out there. You ain't have to go to no god doggone shop. Let these people put their hairs in here and make all that money off you with all that Cambodian lace front weave somebody else's hair. That's because you're too god doggone lazy. I don't want no lazy. I don't want no woman that can't take care of her own hair. So didn't. <laughs> I went over my ex-wife house yesterday. You know, to drop off a little change for, for the step grandkids. They going, I can't, I'm going to stop calling them. They're, they're, they're my grandbaby. My, my two littlest grandbaby, they going, uh, they going down there in Orlando to a school shop and to the aquarium. So I gave them a little chain to go to the aquarium and a little field trip for them. She got long braids in her hair. I'm like, what the hell is this stuff? But I ain't got nothing to do with it. I look at him like, why you get them braids in your head? Because she did have like a little hair, a little short, like Amber Rose hair. A little short hair kind of look. I like natural women with natural hair. Either natural hair like Candace Owens or natural short hair if it's a black woman. Now, if it wasn't about the Latino girl, boy, they can wear that little silky bra. I know that's the hair. I know when I wake up in the morning, I know the hair is going to be on the head. <laughs> it ain't going to be on the nice day. <laughs> I'm like, good, you want to put these braids in your head? But that's her, that's her little red wagon. She can push it to pull it. But yeah, I'll watch a little interview here with Candace Owens and, <laughs> and Amber Rose. I tell you, boy, I remember back in the day, boy, I saw a picture of Amber Rose when she was with that little white Cleve John, that little thing she was with. Boy, she had one of them pictures. I don't know where I got it from. <laughs> but boy, that thing was open wide. <laughs> they don't like, whoa, they got Amber Rose. She was showing it all, boy. That way, I can't look at Amber Rose. I see Amber Rose. I see that picture. That girl was butt bone neck. I'm like, what the? <laughs> that girl had a monkey on her. <laughs> and it was wide open, dude. Boy, it looked like somebody lost their car keys inside it. <laughs> I didn't know Amber Rose. And now I see Amber Rose on the RNC giving speeches. Oh, man. But you know what? Hey, that with time. Hey, hey, with the passage of time, time passes. <laughs> what that dumb stuff come to be saying? With the passage of time, time passes because time blows away and time. <laughs> that's, your, that's your new president. So with the passage of time, Amber Rose can change too, can't she? Huh? Everybody do dumb stuff when they when they're young, right? And as you live to get older, you get a little smart, you get wiser, right? <laughs> so I saw it. I'm looking at Amber Rose at the artist. I'm like, God damn, look at Amber Rose. And she uh, look, look, I'm every time I hate to say this. Every time I look at a black person say, Oh man, they articulate. <laughs> That means that's a dumb nigga. <laughs> I ain't know that dumb nigga can talk. <laughs> you don't say that about no other race people, do you? You don't want to say no other race about people. Hey, when they start talking, hey man, they pretty articulate, right? You don't say nothing, nothing about you don't say that about no white people, Asian people, nobody said that about but black people, right? When you look at them and you figure they can talk, because you're thinking, hey, god dang, them dumb niggas can them dumb niggas can put two sentences together, can't he? <laughs> but yeah, but Emma Rose, I like how she can sit down with Candace Owens, have two different views. And they can sit down, they can have a conversation. And see, this is what growth and maturity comes with. When two people that have opposing ideologies can agree on something, just to agree on enough things, can come together to talk about things that they disagree on. This is an open conversation. This is what black folks need to start having instead of getting gaslighted and always being on one side or the other side. You need to come together. If you want to bring your race together, if you want to come together as one, you need to come together and talk to your opposition. Like I was saying yesterday where they were saying that uh, 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 Camilla Harris team won't let, won't debate, won't debate Trump on Fox or somewhere like that, right? Now, Donald Trump went to, went, went to the CNE platform and debated, right? But now, but they won't let Kamala Harris go on Fox News. I mean, I've seen Donald Trump being interviewed by CNN people. So she can't go on Fox News. I mean, how do you know? I mean, it's not when she when, when she on the world stage and have to deal with them foreign, them foreign leaders over there. She gonna have to go in opposition territory, right? So she can't deal with opposition territory in the media over here. How can you trust her on the world stage? See, but this is the thing I like about this right here. Amber Rose, y'all, I, I don't hear it, ain't going to lie, I ain't going to lie, after seeing that picture, <laughs> after seeing that picture, I saw Amber Rose back in the day, boy, I knew I wasn't big enough, 
I, and they had no Mr. Prolong pills back then. But all day, I, I knew I wasn't big enough to go inside that girl. Oh, that girl had a, woo, we have a roll, boy. Whoa, Kanye, uh, White Cliff Cliff. What that little White Cliff guy? I like him because he do more time. I like more time. I do a little more time. Well, it's me shut up. Yeah, I, I, like, I like the little guy. I like that little guy, boy. Boy, I said, boy, you did that ever roll? Ooh, I have a roll. But, but I tell you what, she talk better than Cardi B, don't it? <laughs> Joe Biden, Joe Biden, go out and interview Cardi B. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I take Elva Rose over Cardi B any guy, dog. Elva Rose can mix. Elva Rose articulate. <laughs> Elva Rose can actually talk. She can put some sentences in You go check out this interview on, on Candace Owen. Oh, the technical girl. That little girl can Man, you, can, you can't sit down with no call and be and have no convers- conversation like that. <laughs> can you imagine Joe Biden and Carly B sitting down <laughs> having a 10 minute interview? This is probably about 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Boy, that'll be the weirdest conversation. I'd be like, what the hell she say? What the hell she say? Which one am I declining? Him or her? <laughs> yeah, call it B. Oh, call it B can't talk like Elvin Rose can. Now, maybe call it B got some chair, right? Maybe, maybe she can get done chasing, chasing her little husband from around screwing everything. Maybe she can sit down and gather some thoughts together, right? And get a, maybe tell her how to read a teleprompter. I mean, she can read rap limits, right? So she can read, she can maybe craft some stuff, right? And say I'll have a good little interview, but I ain't no way in here. Oh, boy. Calling me and Joe Biden on a 10 minute interview. <laughs> That'd be like Comedy Central. <laughs> I ain't say nothing bad about the little gal, right? Like, I don't know the little gal. I don't listen to that shit. I mean, that stuff. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm just saying about the interview. Like, why would you go get somebody like calling me? I mean, this is how stupid they think you black people are. They think you are so stupid. They gonna go get the stupidest people, the most popular, stupidest people to put in your face. <laughs> Because you got a lot of social media followers. That's gaslighting. This gaslighting thing. Oh, here got a new. I got a new theme. My new theme is gaslighting, boy. <laughs> I love it. Gas gaslighting is the new fifty two fake out. <laughs> is the new banana in the tailpipe. This is gaslighting. <laughs> but look, this interview right here. Y'all go check this interview out. Amber Rose. You know, if when you get older, like I say, when you get older, you can mature. You see things. I like what she said about religion, right? Because, of course, as you know, Candace is highly religion. And Emma says she's an atheist because of her experience. I'm 100% agree with eight, with uh, with uh, <laughs> with, with, with Emma Rose. Oh, I'll tell you, I don't give a damn what you think. I'm an atheist. And I'm an atheist, not that I don't believe in something. I don't just I don't believe in the bullshit y'all believe in. <laughs> okay. I don't believe in that. Okay. Cause like El Rose, I did my study. I did. And she sounds so familiar when I listen to what she said. You know, she went from, you know, the philosophy of Buddhism, because Buddhism isn't is a religion. Buddhism is a philosophy. When she went from Buddhism and different I never ventured toward toward uh uh, uh the Muslim thing. I ain't never been to jail. So I never ventured in there well on my own. Now maybe if I went to jail, I'd become a Muslim quick, okay? But never ventured that way, okay? But I understand what she's saying, how you can get be how you can be discouraged from people. And as you get older, you start learning things. Some things don't make sense to you and you question things. So you always start as a and like I tell people all the time, too, about religion. I think religion is good to bring a child up. It's good to bring a child up to a structure into a structure like religion. OK, that's good. As a child get older, like the Bible talks about, when I was a child, I thought of a child, spoke of a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. That's to me, it's like it's like it's like religious teaching or the Bible. It is good to bring a child up, in my opinion, whatever your religion or denomination is. I think it's good to bring a child up within that structure. But as a child get older, and they minds and they learn and they figure and start becoming different, they start questioning things. So it's a question that you can't answer or your book can't answer and they seek other answers out outside of there and see that there's a difference then that's a that's a child's growth that's a child's development 
Okay, so like I say, I old head never tell nobody don't bring your kid up religion. I say, hey, you got a kid, bring your kid up in, in some structure or, or church or something like that. But as that child get old and start questioning that you can't answer outside of that, then and that child start developing, then you have to let that child go in its way. Okay, and if and if your teaching was strong, you know that kid will come back. So you know, I like what Amber said, but Amber, you know, she she ain't in the points right on the head, but. Y'all go check out that little interview here with Candace Owen and uh, Candace Owen and Amber Rose. Boy, I'm sure, boy, I'm telling you, boy. Oh, oh Candace Owens couldn't have no interview like this with Carly B. Oh, hell no. Carly B be checking her watch every two minutes. Where my husband at? <laughs> she be trying to face that one. She be trying to track her husband. Where my husband? We can't do this interview, Candace. I got to have my husband. Matter of fact, where's Joe Biden? I like Joe Biden interview. It was only two minutes. <laughs> God, no. Oh, look at Candace with that little hot, hot comb hair. Oh, I love me. Of Candace and one boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 that's my little YouTube granddaughter there. I'm kind of like Amber Rose, too. I don't know. Boy, I, I probably still get hate with her. Because as you get old, your little Peter Weeder shrinks. <laughs> I couldn't hang with Amber Rose when she had that picture back then. I couldn't hang with it now. Nah. Oh, I'm still a dirty old man, too. But I know what I can't handle. <laughs> boy, let me tell you. Man, before I get out of here, have y'all heard the latest about Trump? Man, Trump is a true gangster, man. They say Trump about to go back to Pint Butler, PA. You know where they, where they try to shoot him, mate? Man, they say Trump about to go back to Butler, PA, man, to finish what he started. Oh, man. Hey, Trump, I'm going, going back, back to Butler. Going back to Butler. I'm going, going back, back to Butler. <laughs> Trump about to do a biggie. I'm going, going back, back to Butler. <laughs> Trump is a beast. Man, now you kind of understand Trump's personality. Trump ain't no quitter. Ain't this kind of president you want on the world stage? <laughs> when he talking to Putin and all them boys, Trump ain't no joke. I mean, this guy didn't got shot and almost assassinated in Butler, and he going, going back, back to Butler. <laughs> I'm going, going back, back to Butler. <laughs> Trump said he going. Now I see why when he lost the election. Why he ran again. Trump ain't no quitter, boy. Oh, I love this boy. I love a guy. Trump got a man over here when I was a little fella back in Louisiana. Me, I told the story a few times. Boy had this little fella, boy. Me and this little fella, I think it was like second grade. We got it to us back. Oh, man, we all sad at school. We fighting. Boy, that little that boy, that boy kicked over head tail. He did. I fought that little fella. I thought it was the oil man quarters, but my bud told me it was a sawmill. It was a sawmill back down Louisiana. It wasn't the oil mill quarters, it was a sawmill. I fought him from Peabody Elementary all the way to the sawmill quarters. Sure did. That boy kicked my butt. I ain't want to quit, though. I went home and told my daddy. I said, Daddy, Daddy, I got in a fight, Daddy. He said, boy, did you win? I say, no, Daddy. I say, but I fought that boy all the way to his house. But Daddy said, boy, you did a good job, boy. It don't make no matter if you want to fight. Long as you make that kid <laughs> think long enough about fighting you again and show sure up. I wanted to fight that kid every day after that until I won. I never won. Oh, here, no, I got a lie. No won. But you know what? That kid never wanted to fight me again. That kid was like, look, man, I'm tired of fighting you, man. I don't want to fight no more. He would call it uncle. <laughs> He kicked your head tail so much, he would call it uncle. Because I was going to keep fighting him. I got to win. <laughs> but I couldn't win, though. But I kept fighting. That kid won't fight no more. Not like Trump. <laughs> Trump might not win. But God dog it, Trump going to keep fighting, boy. That's my kind of president right there. If I vote for him. <laughs> Trump say, I'm going, going back, back to Butler. <laughs>